Folk Project Television. Hosted by Joe Guzzo. With music from the Horses Sing None of It archives. Appearances by Mary Flower and Stefan Grossman. And now here's your host, Joe Guzzo. My name is Joe Guzzo, and this is the Folk Project Television Show. Thanks for joining me today. Well, it's been 77 days since my wife and I have been self-isolating. As the days passed, we realized we needed a gentle way to, you know, ask each other how uh, we might want to have some privacy or a little more space and things like that. So my wife had the idea to print up two signs. One said, please tell me more. And the other one said, I need quiet, please. Both very polite. And she handed me the first card, and as you can see, it says, please tell me more. Uh, the only time I've seen the other one was when she was holding it up for me. So, I, you know, this, this. <sighs> Anyhow, I want to take a moment to give my thanks to Ralph Litwin, Sandy Riley, and the rest of the Horses Sing None of It team. Without the use of their archived shows, my job would be a lot harder. Later in today's show, I'm going to be talking about Stephen, uh, Stephen Grossman and showing videos he did for horses in the past. First up, however, we're going to take a, a walk through some of the music from, from Mary Flower. You can find Mary's detailed information online, and let me let you see exactly where... That information is here. Mary Flower can be found at www.maryflower.com or you can email her at mary at maryflower.com. The in October of 2006 Mary was interviewed by Ralph Litwin. If you want to see that show in its entirety, check out the Horses Sing None of It channel on YouTube. Mary's been described as an unassuming blues heroine. Her performances show vast skills, and she's a delight to hear. And what I'd like to do is play the first of her songs that I have for you today, right now. Let's do you a little uh, sampling of a couple of different kinds of tunes here. Thank you. 
Yeah. <laughs>
What else would you like to play for us? Why don't we try playing one? What's, as if we were after Washington Square Park, we can do Ain't Nobody's Dirty Business. All right. So here's an example of a tune that John Hurt used to play, but so did many, many other white and black musicians. And such an easy tune to play with a fiddle player, a harmonica player, a mandolin player. We have some pretty good stuff going now. Um, I apologize for the volume problem. I just got a note from someone saying that my audio wasn't coming through, so I fixed that issue, I hope. Um, what you're looking at now is uh, a slide where uh, Steve Fahey and Mike Bloomfield toured along with Steve uh, Stefan. Um, this was in the late 70s. He toured with quite a few very talented people over the years and during that era it was these two guys um move on to the next photograph and we can see here uh is another one of mike and uh stefan in 1980s i guess this was right at right this probably was the year 1980 um mike bloomfield and stefan performed in bologna italy Sadly, we would lose Mike in 1981 to a drug overdose. Yet, the music they made together at the time was phenomenal. Living in Italy proved to be a pleasure for Stefan. He remained there for a number of years. What I'd like to do now is to play one more video of Stefan. So if you'll give me a second, I'll pull him right in here. This is sort of the way um, Reverend Davis, who was so influential on my playing and my thinking, he used to use picks, but the picks he would use were a huge thumb pick that he would put in the middle of his thumb and a huge plastic finger pick. And he'd only play with two fingers. 
And when I asked him, why do you only play with two fingers, he said, well, that's all I need, <laughs> which was just terrific. <laughs> and he would say that you want to make the guitar sound like a piano. So here, you, he would play a, like a ragtime tune, sort of like this. <laughs> What would you like to do for us now? This one. This is the way Lonnie played. single string work like this. Mm -hmm. 
Would you like to try to do one together, Ralph? Yeah, sure. How about we do one by sort of guitar playing of Big Bill. What I found very interesting when I did a lot of traveling, and I first got to England in 67, and got to be good friends with Martin Carthy and John Renborn. And amazingly, they were influenced by the same record. It was the first record of all three of us, which was a record with Big Bill on one side and Josh White on the other. And just hearing the way Big Bill would play, it was such a, 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 more than a turn on. You just had to be, use that as a goal to try to play like Big Bill. Now, obviously, John and Martin, nowadays they don't play Big Bill Brunsy tunes, but if you're in a room drinking a little bit or just <laughs> getting together, they'll all play Big Bill. All right, how about a blues and A? How uh, about Big Bill? And when John died in 2015, you can rest assured that Stefan has got to has a, have a million stories that he could share about his friend. Today, oh, good, nothing there. <laughs> I don't know why there's nothing there. Anyhow, it doesn't matter. Um, today, what I'd like to do is to just come back and show you a uh, another video. So if you just give me a second, we'll bring it right up. Open D tuning. This is one of the tunes that was originally written in 1854. And yet, so many black and white musicians, they learned it. And it was being played initially just by, get the cable here, by women, middle class women, white women. 
So we're at that train station in Dover. And you're waiting for the train to come in. Finally, it comes into the station. You hear this. You recognize that? New York Express.
Excellent. Thank you. Once again, I want to apologize for the issues with the sound. Hopefully you hear me loud and clear right now. I've enjoyed sharing these tidbits about Stefan with you, and um, I'd like you to do me a favor and send us any comments about the show and ideas for future guests. I read every letter and I try to respond within 24 hours. What I'd like to do right now is to give you a um, URLs for Stefan. As you can see, he has two um, URLs up here. One, well, actually, one URL and an email address. The URL for his website is guitarvideos.com, and the uh, Stefan at gtrvideo.com for his email. And let's go back to. There we go. And that's it for today. I apologize again. I look forward to bringing you another show, hopefully with all the bugs worked out. I, I said this last week, and I'll probably say it again and again. I'd like you to stay safe, stay vigilant, listen to the health care experts, and don't let yourself be lulled into complacency. It's hard to enjoy life if you're sick. This is Joe Guzzo for the Folk Project Television. See you next week. <laughs>